Ting team, I have a five minute quick set for you so we can tune up our fascia really quick with the blocks here. Let's start with our upper body because, hey, it's kind of yummy to release the shoulders, right? Sit up on something or sit against a wall, a, blank, a blanket or a block will do. You're going to bring your hands together like Madonna. Bring your feet a little hip distance-ish. Bring your elbows out like a chicken. Madonna, chicken. Madonna, chicken. Elbows plug out. Keep doing the chicken with your elbows. Use your knees to plug your forearms together. Relax to come back open. Keep plugging out to the side with your elbows so you're active in this whole line of tissue on the outside of the shoulder. That is the small intestine channel in, according to PCM, if we're going to map it out. Elbows push out, hands are plugging together, say a prayer, just like Madonna. <laughs> and we'll pulse that a couple times. You can take up the tempo if you want to bring your heat up a little bit. Your adductors are getting strength trained right now. Hands are plugging together. As you pulse your elbows in, you can also pull your heart backwards in space. Start up tall and then get sinky, so you're getting a little bit more activity wrapping around the scaffolding of the shoulders, the lower aspect of the shoulders working into uh, infraspinatus and into the rotator cuffs here, the attachments of teres minor and major. Mamma mia, let's go for three more. And basta, bring your block out from the situation and pop your hands behind your booty. Legs a little bit longer here. Fingertips are pulling in towards your pelvis so you feel the front of the chest engaged. Keep it engaged, keep pulling the hands forward and pop your heart up. Soften to sit yourself back down, get really sinky in your heart. As you pull your hands forward, puff your chest up. Relax to come down. Let's go for two more. Pulling the hands forward, popping heart up. This is a quick floss, so we're just gonna zip around the body. Back body, front body, let's go into our legs here. Come on forward, grab your blocks or a ledge, a chair will be perfect, and come into Pyramid. Lift up onto your back toes, make sure you're not on a tightrope, your front knee is micro bent, your heel is pulling back, and you sit into your booty like you're sitting in a pretend chair on your market set go shape. Good, come on forward, here we go. Pyramid on hyperdrive. Sitting into your back knee as you sit yourself back. Let's take a few pulses here to floss the back of the hamstring. As we connect with the fascia by pulling your heel back, and as we lengthen the fascia as we sit back, we create that magic internal exfoliation to change that tissue that is stronger than steel per weight. Can you believe it? Yeah, so sometimes sitting in a passive stretch is just not going to cut it. That's why we like these little pulses to add in into your toolkit. Let's go for one and two more. Basta cozy. Feet together, bend your knees a little bit more than you think, and then soften through your chest. Head hangs forward. Walk your blocks so that they're under your shoulder heads ish, and plug your hands down. Notice your legs. Step back with your left leg, your right leg is forward. Pyramid second set. Lift up onto your back toes. Pull your front heel back, sit into your back knee. Boom, booty goes back. Heel keeps pulling back the whole time. Your shoulder heads are kind of soft and easy, but you can think of pulling them away from your ears. Your belly button is up. Your low rib cage is supported. And then drag your attention back into the belly of the hamstring as you pull your heel back. Stay connected there. The more connection your mind has, the more change you can facilitate in the fascia, waking up those fibroblasts. Those are the cells that take care of the connective tissue and start to get them a little bit wily coyote, get them active doing their little jobs they do for us. Let's go for three more, heels pulling back the whole time. Yeah. Okay, so yum. Pop your feet so that you're in a parallel position in wide-legged shape. Toes are um, pointing straight forward or a little bit in as you like. You can have your blocks or not. I'm gonna extend mine. Your legs are hugging in like you're going to swoop your arches towards the midline. And then as you keep the hugging in sensation and active here in the adductors, you're going to bend into one knee. Good. And switch your ruski. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Adductors are trying to kiss and bending into your other knee. You can do this one standing with your hands on your hips. 
If you're doing that, you're gonna let your booty point backwards a little bit, squeezing it and bending into one side. You have two more. Yes, yummy, this is a little Tai Chi leg situation, a little ninja feeling, if you will. You can look the opposite direction, look towards your length and leg. And then this is your last one. And thank you so much for your quick floss. I'll see you soon.